pre-drilled hole and uh, of course the the long hole boring auger itself which in this case has been specially extended so that uh, even allowing for the 200 millimeters uh, taken up by the tailstock body um, uh, we can still achieve a full 30 inch boring capacity through the uh, through the tailstock We can turn up to 36 inch diameters over the beam of the VB36, but for larger diameters, up to 2 meters in fact, and uh, for work which extends beyond the reach of the beam between 24 and 30 inches, uh, and again we can turn uh, out considerably beyond that distance with the VB, uh, then we need the freestanding independent tool rest arrangement, and this is it. It has a, an adjustable corner so that it can be leveled and uh, stabilized on uneven surfaces. Uh, both the diameters, uh, the external and the internal diameter of the post, are turned uh, to um, a tolerance <coughs> so that all the tool rests, uh, the external gripping ones and the internal rests can be utilized. Uh, certainly for most, in fact all, uh, conventional tool rests, a T rest, where the fulcrum point for the tool uh, is actually on the blade of the rest. The, this arrangement provides total stability. But there are um, occasions when, uh, for example, the extra long depollowing rest is used where the fulcrum point for the tool is moved some 24 inches or up to 24 inches from the, the tool post. Now in this case uh, we provide outrigger legs or stabilizers which um, are bolted to the flanges here on either side, there's two, uh, they have an adjustable foot so again they provide uh, for extended reach tool rest applications uh, and provide total stability irrespective of the size of the work. We also have what we describe as a backrest. Now this is useful in conjunction with the beam where you're using the beam of the VB36 and uh, a tool rest um, located on that beam as the main support for the tool. This as a backrest for the tool handle allows you to exert downward pressure here and maintain a constant horizontal position for the tool. This also of course can be used in its own right as, uh, as a long tool rest. The standard equipment with the VB36 is uh, a 12 inch or 300 millimeter long tool rest, a conventional pattern. Uh, we also supply other sizes of course. This is the um, 5 inch or 130 millimeter rest. Um, an 8 inch. And uh, a 16 inch rest. Uh, we also provide this height setting collar which on the heavier rests particularly is uh, useful. It takes the weight of the rest so that when you're making minor adjustments uh, you don't have to support it in the vertical attitude. Uh, particularly when working with the freestanding rest, the, um, the Benison fine adjuster um, can be very useful. Here we just take the, the um, conventional locking handle out, replace it with the Benison adjuster, so-called because uh, John Benison, one of our VB customers who also is an engineer, uh, developed this uh, in line with his own needs. And um, here any, any of the conventional tool rests can be used in conjunction with it. The whole assembly locks up on a single sliding wedge arrangement in here which bears against the external diameter of the post and the external diameter of the tool rest post so that uh, when that's released the whole thing can be adjusted to any required position. This can be used in conjunction with the height setting collar on uh, the tool rest post itself or stem and also a height setting collar on the outside diameter of the, the main support.
There are occasions when, of course, it's desirable to have the tool rest actually inside the work. If it's a, a deep, hollow vessel, that means that it's uh, certainly not desirable to have your hand in there at the same time. Um, so that, in conventional uh, tool rest terms, means that the, the tool is uh, on the rest, but it's difficult to find a purchase for your, your hand, which is controlling the tool without putting it on the rest as well. So here we've provided a hand rest bar uh, which is adjustable so that uh, it can be positioned wherever you require it to give support either to your arm or hand uh, on the tool shaft while the tool itself is supported on the, uh, the rest which is inside the, the work. Um, we, we make these out of spheroidal graphite uh, cast iron which has the same equivalent, roughly equivalent uh, tensile strength as uh, mild steel. Uh, so in a rest of this section and size, it's, uh, um, it will absorb all the uh, force that can be put on it uh, with absolute safety. Um, the top of the rest is drilled with um, holes uh, which allow for the use of uh, either a fork rest for the tool uh, or a pin which acts as a, a fulcrum point for the tool to be levered against. The uh, height of the handrest bar can also be adjusted uh, so that it provides a useful platform for the tool shaft to affect the necessary angle of attack on the work face. In this case, um, there are spacers which um, allow the tool rest bar to be raised or lowered. In this case, I've raised it so that now it provides uh, uh, a slight angle for the, the tool as it enters the work. It's also sometimes useful to have uh, some positive location for the hand or the tool on the hand rest bar itself. So we've drilled and tapped um, a hole through here uh, to accept a, a firmager pin, so-called because uh, Melvin Firmager developed the, uh, this particular technique. Um, this pin simply screws into the the bar at this point. It can either be used uh, horizontally as it is here um, or in this case it can be raised and adjusted to a vertical position if you find that that is um, uh, more helpful for the the turning operation that you're undertaking. Now in some cases uh, particularly when working through say a narrow necked vessel the section of this part of the rest which would normally be used inside the work is just too big uh, so there the hand rest bar itself can be used as a tool rest and inserted into the work so in this case we now have uh, this acting as a tool rest and the, the various components can be used in this bar and this Formerly the tool rest now acts as a hand or arm rest while you're working uh, at whatever angle uh, or operation you're undertaking. The deep hollowing rest assembly is supplied complete as it is here and the um, accessories, the fork, the pin and the firmager pin are supplied as accessories to the, uh, the main um, component assembly. Um, we also have developed this uh, eccentric bar which replaces the hand bar for very small apertures and again this can be inserted and adjusted in terms of the height setting required and um, here uh, because of the eccentric turning the top of the tool rest, what has now become the tool rest is all at a, a single level so that a tool can be traversed along it without meeting any steps. For extremely deep hollow vessels we make um, uh, a very long rest, the extra long deep hollowing rest and for this accessory, although not essential, the, the height setting collar which fits to the external diameter of the post is useful because the tool rest assembly is very heavy and uh, this will <coughs> avoid it crashing down inadvertently if you're um, not thinking exactly what you're doing. Um, the advantage of this rest 
is that it's, uh, it has a telescopic movement, so that can be introduced progressively into the work. Um, of course, it can be swiveled and locked at any uh, setting that you require. Uh, there's a friction adjusting nut on the front here, so that controls the resistance to the telescopic movement, and a clamp handle here, which locks it in any uh, chosen position. We provided a, a swiveling end extension, uh, which can be locked up at any chosen angle. That's useful for getting the tool into uh, undercut rim situations. Um, the both the main tool rest and the extension are drilled to either accept um, the fork or the pin ends. As with the smaller deep hollowing rest assembly, um, we have the provision of a, a hand rest bar, which is useful in some, uh, some types of work. Um, here the tool is supported um, on the end of the part of the rest which is inserted into the work and the hand or arm uh, ha has support on this bar outside. But this also has another use. With the uh, body of the extra long deep hollowing rest removed, the hand rest now becomes a tool rest in its own right. Indeed it can be purchased uh, uh, just as a tool rest uh, in its own right. Uh, it's drilled to accept the uh, fulcrum pin uh, or the fork and of course by its nature it is telescopic so it can be introduced into the work progressively. Um, the, uh, the, the bar is also drilled and tapped for the use of a firmager pin if, if required. Don't worry, Tom. I might have been a bit 